Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It's QAH here. We're going to be doing reaction videos. I had to swallow some spit. And <laughs> go subscribe to Save Plays. We are going to, oh my gosh, the birds. We are going to be checking out Icon Impact, which is another game of Julio Versus. That they put more effort into than Genshin Impact, as you can see. I think this is a new game of Hong Kong Impact. I don't really follow them, but we're here to check it out. And yeah, so shout out to Sev, please. I think she was a beta tester of this, is what I'm getting so far. I'm gonna let her take it away. Let's go ahead, go ahead. Hey everyone, it's Sevi, and today I want to try something new. We are going to do a Honkai Star Rail closed beta test 2 playthrough. Now, I played this live on Twitch, but since I know that a lot of you aren't really on Twitch, I did want to share this experience to you by putting it on YouTube. Now, I did record this with live chatters, but since I already released my Honkai Star Rail first impressions, I wanted to show you what the game itself was like and how it was experiencing it for the first time. Now, if you're watching this in the premiere, I will be in live chat, so if you have any questions about the experience or my thoughts on the characters or the game itself, then just ask away and I will try to answer. I do have a few episodes of this plan, so I would love it if you told me if you enjoy this type of content or if you just enjoy hanging out with me in a live chat or a watch party so I can try this premiering with more of my videos. But I would love to share my more candid self with you here on YouTube as well. So without further ado, we are going to do this playthrough. This is the first part of my Honkai Star Rail closed beta test playthrough. I'll see you in the live chat. Okay. I'm also very excited. All right, chat. Can't wait to see some opening cutscene action. Masked fools. Oh my god, wait, these screens are already look really good though. Like they're they're so pretty. Yes, sci-fi. Uh, first off, can we talk about the graphics? You ain't never gonna find no graphics like this in Genshin Impact. Never. Never. You ain't never gonna find no gra graphics like this in Genshin Impact. Did y'all take y'all inspiration from Star Wars? Bro, look at the detail in this. This looks like a prop from a green, sh green screen, straight out of a movie. Uh. Is that canon in D in the background? They're playing can- they're playing a whole canon in D! And she's doing like air violin things! Oh no, I think she's the bad guy. <laughs> oh no, she's orchestrating. Get it? Orchestrating? She's orchestrating the attack! Holy shit! These characters! This is so beautiful! <laughs> oh no, the Seems music got cut short. Right. No, no. I think you couldn't have timed it better. 23-47-15 system time. Very punctual, Kafka. Kafka. Okay, her name is Kafka. Mm -hmm. Bro, they even have voice lines! I mean, like, we, we, uh, of course, Genshin Impact is voice lines, but you, you gotta catch Genshin Impact on a good day with Archon Quests in main quests in order to get voice lines but you run into a world quest which it does happen you get no voice lines you get a whole bunch of reading to do like 
I'm sure 50% of us don't read books, so it's annoying enough playing the game and you sit there and have to read as well. But no, these boys, these voice lines look glued in, automatic, probably, probably don't even take down as much storage as it does. I'm, I'm just looking for a reason to talk. But nah, I'm kind of mad though. It looked like with this game, you don't have to pick and choose when voice lines occur. It looked like they naturally happen. They flow with the story. Elio always tells the exact future. So what's with the explosion just now? Was that also part of his script? Uh-huh. 234459 system time. The pulses from the explosion cause a massive breakdown from the master control system. You did that. No. The Antimatter Legion did it. They completely invaded the space station two system hours Ooh. ago. I like how we don't know who's speaking. Like, is it AI? Is it, you know, someone higher up than her? Alright. So do we need to fight the Legion? I don't know. Elio didn't say anything about it, so it doesn't matter. Got it. So from now on, I'll be in charge of this operation. Copy. Can you let me have some fun this time? Our last few oh. operations turned out to be pretty dull. She's one of those people who's like, mm, Sorry, done with everything. I'm afraid there is not much I can do for you. Our task this time is just to place the target properly. Voice acting so cool, but though. If you want to go look for some fun yourself, I won't stop you. I mean, after all. Oh! Another thing with the voice acting, I wonder if it's in multiple languages. I know this is a silly question, but I wonder if it's in multiple languages, but with different subtitles, or is the subtitles mostly in English, but the audio is in multiple languages? Probably, yeah, but I'm new to this game, so don't roast me. Is she gonna fight them? After all. Elio didn't put it in the script. Who's Elio? Why would it matter? Bruh! Oh, okay, okay. We're doing this. Battle start. Click to use basic attack. Hey, that was a clean transition. I haven't seen no tr transition like that since Dengaropa. Like, that was clean. That was a clean transition. Okay, so we're going to- We're going straight into the battle sequence chat. This won't take long. Okay, so there's your normal attack. Single digits, ha! It's two against one. Click to switch to skill. Select target. Click skill. Okay, you have to switch to it before actually executing it. Oh, I get to play as Kafka first? Is she the bad guy? Okay, so chat, I'm moving the camera around with my mouse. FYI. There's some, okay, this is my left click. She has some animation when you left click. Like, it's a combat animation that isn't limited to when you're in the turn-based combat. But let's see if I actually get to fight anything with it. So I wonder, as she's doing her animation in uh, fighting, of course, does her animation get cancelled? Or does it, like, play through? And she can do damage to the enemy she's fighting. Because in Genshin Impact, oh, yeah, you're... Yeah, you, you do something like that, and this is part of your E, best believe your opponent is going to cancel your animation. And of course, you try to do the same thing at, at um... <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh, okay, who's this? Use basic attack to trigger combat. Oh, okay! So I use it to trigger combat. Interesting. All right. So you don't like me, huh? Okay. I have like this energy gauge here that probably limits how many times I can use my skill. <laughs> okay, that one's single target, unfortunately. 
I wonder... Is there a similar voice actor that also does Genshin Impact with his voice? Because I don't know which character, but her voice sounds very familiar. Impact. Click to Seems activate like ultimate. <gasps> she has an ultimate. Okay, chat. Okay, okay, okay. Stealing a glance. And then AoE attack. Now then, where are you hiding? Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Hello? Nah, I'm mad salty. Uh, one, they take, like, did y'all see her animation? I, do you see how they pull your first just takes more time into Hong Kong Impact than Genshin Impact, bruh? They even have Fischl, probably not in the news game, but in the latest installment. They have Fischl doing more damage in this game than Genshin Impact. What happened, Hunk? What happened, Huyoverse? Mahoyo, what happened? And second, well, most likely third, I have played, not the newest version, but the latest installment of Mario Hong Kong Impact, which is Pog, will I play for the channel? No. Because <laughs> the game is a lot. But my favorite character is Morbius. Will Morbius miss a return in this game? Maybe, but uh, it's, it's just a food for thought. Okay. Cleaning up other people's mess isn't in my job description. You know, Kafka. Oh, we have more characters. Hello. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where did you send it, Silverwolf? Some random coordinates. Mm, not <laughs> Sounds important. like Lily You Pichu. care about where that Void Ranger ended up? Of course not. I'm just amazed at this fancy technique of yours, as usual. I like this storytelling RPG style, actually. It's very immersive. It's very immersive. <sighs> Just a little trick of tampering with the data of reality. I wouldn't call it fancy. What were you looking at so in- I'ma forever be salty about how much time they put into Hong Kong Impact over Genshin Impact, but yeah. Yeah. You see how smooth these transitions are? And you see, like, it's a rare occasion in Genshin Impact where you will literally freeze or die in the middle of a cutscene. I have had that happen to me before. But everything looks so clean. Transitions is on point. Nothing is distracting. Nothing is like, nothing is going on for real in the background. It's just all about the story. And then it has separate cutscenes, which Genshin in fact does, but of course, if you look from a world quest, which is just you standing there, you can obviously move the camera. But when it comes to the Archon quest, yeah, you, you have animations here and there, and you have one where it's just like the titles right there, and like, let's say the actual cutscene going on. Yeah, it, it focuses right there. You can't really skip nothing. But it makes it makes Genshin Impact look more amateur like compared to this game. If that makes sense. But mm, I guess you could say with Genshin Impact you do have more freedom because it is an open map. Regardless of this game, but this is just a beta. The, the final game's not actually done, so it could be an open world type of scenery that is 10 times more better than Genshin Impact. I don't know why I'm salty about this and demonizing on Genshin Impact right now, but uh, it, it hurts. It hurts as a player. It hurts.
<laughs> as a gadget impact player and seeing a the same company put more effort into a different game and has different I'm I'm just at this out because you already know. Intently just now. Let me see. Herta's toys. A catalog Herta. featuring the space station's collection of rare items. They've got a lot of interesting gadgets. Mm -hmm. Like what? There's this gun. It can rate any creature within its crosshair as a score from 0 to 100. Whoa! Doesn't sound very interesting. Aren't you curious about how much you would score? I kind of want to know mine. <laughs> How much would you score? Okay, I like this script actually. You know, it has some good banter. It has good voice acting. It's immersive. It's fun. Fine. I guess we can swing by and play with it if it's not too far. What's our destination? Go down the corridor behind the door on the left. There's a room where some kind of rare item left. is stored. Okay. And so that's where the Stellaron is. Cancer of all worlds. Do you see this, chat? Cancer of all worlds. Oh my goodness, that is. Yeah, that's classic your verse for you. Always messing up on the title words when it comes to the cutscenes. Yeah, that's 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 classic your verse for you. Yeah, I'm I'm glad that didn't go away. Yeah. Scary. That's where we can find out where the Stellaron is. Mm. Okay. Oh. Joins team temporarily. Okay, so we get Silver Wolf trial. Interesting. Click to switch oh. avatar. Okay, so we have the one, two, three, four system going. All right. She's cute though. Okay, so. Okay, I'm gonna make commentary throughout this. Um, it looks to me. So far, it looks like it has similar controls as Genshin Impact, you know, you, um, you dash with the right, move the camera with the mouse, WASD if you're a PC player, move, right, left, back, spacebar, jump, switch characters, one, two, three to four, depending on how many players is on your team. Escape, of course. Um, main menu. Quests right there. Looks like it's something else, but my recording thing is blocking it. I don't I don't know what what I do down there. But it looks like it's similar to Genshin Impact, so it probably won't take as much time to learn the controls. That's what I'm getting at. Oh, I think here I have to initiate an attack. Okay, so you left click to initiate the attack. Hi chat, we are doing this Star Rail CPT. Okay, uh, try a single attack. <laughs> One person. Is this a shield? Quantum weakness is one of the enemy's weakness types. So I'm assuming it's this purple blinking thing, yeah? So Wolf can use quantum attacks to target them. Okay. All right, all right. Defense reduction. Oh, chat. We reduced his defense. Okay. Now is not Silver Wolf's turn, but she can still unleash her ultimate. This combat needs optimizing. At this speed, too slow. Oh, that's so cool. She's so badass. Okay, we have a tutorials page. Uh huh. H. Mm hmm. Can find all unlocked tutorials on the tutorial screen. All right. Okay, so this is the weakness. Uh huh. Order of action. Skill points. So these are the skill points. They're shared among the teams, so like the number and then the stars. Basing attack. Oh! Using the skill will consume skill points. Using basic attack will restore skill points. Okay, so there's a way to regenerate them. It's not it's not finite. Okay. That's that's interesting. That's interesting. Alright, let's go. I can't dash here though, unfortunately. Oh, <gasps> destructible objects! Oh my god, chat, now we can destroy everything.
Oh. Someone or something is up ahead. Hello. Why do you look like a Bislector? <laughs> Looks like we're the ones getting ambushed. But they're the ones getting besieged. Oh. Now that I kind of look at this, she does kind of, I don't want to say sound, but look like Rosaria. In a way, especially with that church, especially with this getup and that new skin they just gave us. Well, not the recent skin they just gave us. That church censored, covered up. <laughs> She, she kind of hits the nail, but I'm thinking this was the first Rosaria, then the Genshin Impact Rosaria. And maybe they have the same voice actor. Maybe. Just maybe. Don't quote me. I like that animation they make when, like, you go into battle mode. Alright, let's go with a black. Genshin Impact would never, would never have no type of transition set up like this. They would have a dialogue set up. Yeah, I wonder, uh, what's going on over there? Pramon, the traveler would never speak. It's just dot dot dot. And it's just, oh, it looks like they're getting close. Let's, uh, let's prepare ourselves. And then it face to black. And then boom, you're automatically in the battle. Like, I wish I would have some type of transition like that because sometimes I tend to doze off during the quests because they like to talk in circles, as I'm doing right now, as you haven't picked up on, but that'd be cool to have some transition like that. It, it's not going to take that much storage to just do into the battle. You versus four other people we don't know. I should be a game designer, but yet I'm doing YouTube videos. Last. Um. So this one's weak to the blast. You okay. took the bait just like that. Single attack. Oh, I have to select the target beforehand. Okay, that. Okay, I missed that. Oh. Okay. So you don't like me, huh? What do you think of the turn-based system so far, chat? I will say they fight like mobile players. Mobile original RPG players because uh I think it was the the last mobile game I played that was similar like this was Tokyo Ghoul. Um basically what I mean by classic mobile RPG they're basically doing this this probably gonna change once the game, final game releases. They're basically taking their attacks one at a time. So basically, if they do a charge attack, then there goes half of your health bar. And if you do a normal attack, there goes somewhat of your health bar. Basically, taking attacks one step at a time, which is weird. But in Gitchen Impact, yes, I'm going to keep comparing. You fight to whatever health bar goes down first. And of course, it's a like cutscene in the midst of it, especially if it's a new boss or your weekly bosses. I know, of course. But yeah, this what this this is what this fighting style style is giving me compared to Genshin Impact. Right. <laughs> okay, that's kind of meh. Uh. Okay, we got the defense reduction. You can kind of feel the pacing, you know. But the animations are very nice. Um Okay, I think we let's AoE attack this one. Let's AoE attack this one. Where are you hiding? Oh yeah, bring out the guns, girl. She got guns? You can never find no weapon like that in Genshin Impact. 
and they, I even spotted a phone on Silver Wolf's hip. You ain't never going to find that in Genshin Impact. And can somebody explain to me what time period Genshin Impact is in? Seems oh, that, that little face to me! This won't take long. <gasps> oh, I'm dying! Time for a bite. <laughs> May as well kill them all. Finish it! Okay, that was very fun. Not a single soul here. Impressive evacuation work. Did Herda organize it herself? Alright. We're doing great so far. According to the access history, she hasn't logged in here for over six months. The evacuation was directed by the acting lead researcher, a girl named Asta. Asta! Okay, sussy. It doesn't ring a bell. Oh, right. Elio said we wouldn't run into her to... Okay. Where's the Stellaron? The settings are actually really cool. Elio's script doesn't include any info about the location of the Stellaron, which means in the future he foresees... We would find the Stellaron in a non-physical way. This space station is packed with extraordinary objects. Yeah, the graphics are really nice. There's one that can make it happen. For hiding something extraordinary with something extraordinary. This is pretty Herta. I assume you know what to do. I mean, you've read the catalog for quite a while. And I feel immersed in the story. I've got all the clues we need. The only piece missing is a simple trick. Help me investigate the terminal in this room. Our item might be inside. Okay. The stage is yours. Ooh. <laughs> it's yours. Thank you for the hydrate. Woo! Chat! She is a bastard! <laughs> her passive animation oh lovely i'm sorry but uh how's her passive animation different from genshin impacts all she doing is pretending to um <clears throat> play the violin i've i've seen better passive animations aka kazuha Actually playing the harmonica. Do you need Okay, I don't know if my if if Obi butchered my voice when I screamed that. Okay, I I really like this. The game so far is so, got a master plan. Engaging. I'm all ears. It's a matter of hacking the surveillance system directly. Ah, uh -huh, I see. Hertz's collections aren't in the system, so anything unaffected should be our target. Okay. Oh, oh! What's on the screens? It's the one that she was talking to earlier. Simple, crude, but effective. Oh wait, no, <laughs> that was her. <laughs> It silenced the scream. I knew it. I knew it. Huh. What's this? Item number 211. Line spot. A simple light deflecting field. It allows an object in its field to pass unnoticed. But if a different item ceases to be obvious, the object gets revealed. Okay. So, Herta hides her collection with something as simple as this. Okay, chat. Speculation. Who is Herta? The simplest method is the hardest to spot. Isn't that our motto? Oh! <laughs> what is happening? What? What? What is this? Oh my god, I can't wrap my head around this sci-fi. This, oh, this, oh. Strange thing number two. The data suggests it's just an ordinary hologram. But it has an added layer. Let's take a look. Don't worry. This place won't be our grave. Yeah, I love sci-fi too, chat. Okay, so... 
Oh, the hologram moves with us. Oh. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Hold on. I, I swear, the more the more animations I see, the more saltier I get. It's just like, am I playing the wrong game? Did, did should I should have I played Hong Kong Impact more than Genshin Impact? It's just like I'm getting saltier and saltier. Like each animation I seen in each RPG style, like I haven't seen an RPG style set up with animation like this since literally like i said danganronpa the trilogy like it's like um now that i really think about it is genshin impact so considered rpg since it's an open open world that's a good discussion but i'm getting salty it's just like we couldn't have similar animations like this in hoyoverse huh hoyoverse we couldn't have similar animations like this in Genshin Impact. And I noticed they don't talk as much during like the the cutscenes. But in Genshin Impact, they would sit here and read off a full essay, even run circles. And the main character actually talks. But the main character in Genshin Impact is kinda going through trauma if you really think about it, but it's like, bruh, I'm salty over these animations. I'm salty. She's a me member of the Genius Society, all right. Where did we just the go? It's up ahead. Let's hurry. Huh. It has its own security system. I guess even for her, to Stellaron is no ordinary rarity. Can you get it? Of course. Even the genius Herda can't compete with me when it comes to hacking. Good. Then I'll also count on you with the preparation of the receptacle. This is quite a longish intro sequence. Oh, hi Kafka. The receptacle's ready. Your decision. Hmm. Oh! Leo said this decision will bring about lots of changes. Oh yeah, my god. He said it must be you who makes it. Oh my god, chat. Chat. It's time to choose. It's time to choose. I am so into, I'm so into the female MC. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Sussy. This is not Okay. Okay. This is the actual introduction. So, this is where the actual actual protagonist of the game actually begins. Oh, okay. 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 Now now it all makes sense. Now does these protagonists in this game talk? Okay. Activate receptacle. Oh. Wait. So these are just receptacles? Pick the guy. But come on. Look at the girl! Those boots? Shit, I want that! Husband- You want the husbando? Chat, you want the husbando? What do you mean female MC looks like a guy? The boots! The male MC is the one for you. Uh, I want the- Have the chat and not play Genshin Impact? We literally got Venti. Shing- Shing Shou. Who else? Yeah, Venti and Shin Sho, look. I'm not going inside right now. They look like kids. The female one, though. I gotta be consistent. I gotta be consistent. Pick the guys, those sneakers. Oh my goodness. The sneakers over the boots. Come on, chat. <laughs> the girl. Oh, oh, there will be husbando characters. Okay, chat, I'm gonna go with the female character, okay? I'm gonna go with the female character. I love you all, but I'm gonna go with the female character. She looks so cool. Okay, okay. Oh. Scanning receptacle data. Continue. Wanna give him a new name? 
Sevi. Confirm change. Why did wait? Why did she say? Do you want to give him a new name? Wait. Wait. Okay. Wait. Let me get a good close up of the. Now to all my female viewers. Yeah, no. He fine. <laughs> he fine. <laughs> chat chat is going wild okay you know what screw this i'm just gonna go with him i'm gonna go with him Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go with this guy. Uh Sebi is a totally gender neutral name. Yeah. Oh my god, guys, they scanned my fingerprint. There we go. I don't like real life scan fingerprint. Finger finger like DNA fingerprint that's kind of creepy how much does he remember hmm. I'll remember you time to get up that looked more sexual than intended <laughs> I didn't want to go there but oh <laughs> a space station but that's not important listen you are in a daze right now you don't know who you are why you're here i was so or shook what you're going to do next you think I look familiar, but you're not sure if you should trust me. None of that matters. All you need to know is I'm leaving. And oh, you will be left alone in this space station. She's leaving us. So from now on, you will not think about your past. She's like, wait. So us being in a space station doesn't matter, but you're leaving, huh? So you reverse me. Yeah, literally reverse. Yeah. And you're going to leave me alone? And then... Okay. Indicting us. Listen. In the near future, you will encounter all kinds of perils and hardships, but... You will also have many wonderful experiences. Okay. Companions who will treat you like family. <laughs> Why does she know all this? Real adventures with them. Thank you the for predicting journey, my future. All that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. Wait, I just realized Kafka's the voice in the Star Rail beta second beta trailer announcement. That's her. That's her voice. Because when she said at the end of your journey, I heard that. I recognize that. This is your future that Elio has foreseen. Do you like it? Do I have a choice, bro? <laughs> I guess. Where are you going? And it looks like the main protagonist, which is the character she just created, does not talk as well. Confirmed. That's the Stop. more important question. Leave the way for the future that is written. It's like weaving brocade. You and I can only add one gold thread each time. Oh. But eventually, we will make a gorgeous pattern. Oh, interesting. Need. According to the script, the Astral Express crew is arriving soon. We should avoid being seen by them. I know. Oh, they're going to pick me up. Off. Just give me another minute. Oh, I she's... must leave now. Don't worry. Someone will come and find you very soon. 
Just go with them. You won't remember a thing except me. Damn! Kafka! When you have a chance to make a choice, make one that you know you won't regret. That's her! That's the line! I feel like Leonardo DiCaprio with a popcorn! Popcorn! He's like... <laughs> you do it. CP Army March! <sighs> Wait! Stop it! They're awake! <laughs> Hold up! They John Lee looking! Let me stop. Uh, let me stop because um, Genshin Impact's John Lee could be the fake John Lee compared to the Hong Kong slash Star Rail player. So, where should I go? Back to the Master Control Zone. Ask then the other researchers. Cool. Different voice actors, okay, and um, postures, but of course, I mm, but John Genshin Impact John Lee is way, way, way like decades and centuries. His mentality is like not within the time period Genshin Impact is currently, which. As a player, I do not know what current time period Genshin Impact is in. But whatever for you they are in, John Lee does not meet that criteria. Even in his voice line, you can hear it. AoE? So that was part one of this live recorded playthrough. If you enjoyed it, as always, don't forget to leave a like. Consider subscribing to this channel for more fun content, and I will see you all soon. And thank you also for hanging out with me during the premiere and the live. Okay, I was in the live, and uh, I was in the premiere, and I was in the Twitch chat, and I was just viewing this on YouTube. But like she said, go subscribe to her and go subscribe to me. This will be the end of the video, T. I tried to make that rhyme, but that was cringe now that I really think about it. But my thoughts so far, I think this is an actually cool game. Um, will I play it? I don't know. I, I, I need to see it a little bit more in order for me to make that decision, but the game looks very good so far. I don't like the fighting style. I don't like that one at a time type of fighting style. I like to like get fully immersed like as if I'm fist fighting. Like I want you to punch me back and I want to attack back all at the same time. But it's RPG style. And it also makes me think I don't in my opinion, I don't think Genshin Impact is no longer an RPG type of game. Now looking at this. But I will say this game takes the cake when it comes to transitions, animations, graphics. I mean, Genshin Impact graphics are nice, but you have to put it on certain settings in order to really see those graphics. With this, it's automatic, like, it's within the game. Like, turn on the game, the gra these type of graphics is already set, unless there were, like, settings that she filled with. But this is a beta. You can't really do all of that. But um, this is nice. This is Pog. I would say Genshin has the upper hand when it comes to fighting, but everything else is Pog. It's Pog. I don't know. I might play when it drops. I don't know if it already dropped. I no, it didn't drop yet. It didn't drop yet. But this is Pog, and I'm ending it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think if you stumble across this video. And yeah. Goodbye. And have a nice day.